Hi everyone, I want to pretty quickly go over the possible differential diagnosis of heart failure. One, pneumonia. The fact that this person is presenting with dyspnea, shortness of breath, or tachypnea, with or without fever and cough, doesn't mean it's solely heart failure. It's possible we might be dealing with pneumonia. Of course, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD. Pleural effusion, secondary to what? Secondary to tuberculosis, malignancy, renal failure, and so on. And of course, asthma. Like in fact, there's bronchial asthma, there's cardiac asthma. Go over my presentation on acute exacerbation and the compensation of heart failure, you're going to get the clearer picture there. This might be cystic fibrosis, because the family history will show, and the presentation. Tuberculosis is a possibility, lung carcinoma, panic attack, anemia. This could be tyrotoxicosis, arrhythmia, for example, atrial fibrillation, severe abstention, medications like calcium channel blocker and non steroid anti inflammatory drugs with or without corticosteroids could be the possible differential. Myocardial ischemia or myocardial infarction, depression, venous thromboembolism or renal failure with or without liver failure because there's possibility of a pathorenal failure or liver cirrhosis. Okay, these are possible differential diagnoses of heart failure. In other words, when you are making the diagnosis of heart failure, be concerned about the likelihood of any of these, or they can even be the causes of heart failure. Okay, the next presentation will be on staging of heart failure. Thanks for listening to my presentation. Kindly subscribe so that once I publish these presentations, you can have them at your end. Thank you.